Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm making a quick paneer recipe, which is a stir fry paneer without onion and tomatoes. I hope you like this recipe. So keep watching. Here I've taken 250 grams of paneer. And to this I'm adding a little water to soak it for about 15 to 20 minutes. By doing this, it helps in softening the paneer. Now we would need two green chilies, which I'm going to slit it open in the center. Then we would require few curry leaves. Here I'm taking a sprig of curry leaves, a teaspoon of ginger garlic paste, 1 4 teaspoon turmeric powder, 1 4 teaspoon coriander powder, 1 4 teaspoon red chilli powder and 1 4 teaspoon garam masala powder. I'm also adding chilli flakes which is optional, a half teaspoon of soya sauce and we would also require a handful of water. Along with this 2 tablespoons of oil, salt as per taste and a handful of frozen green peas. Now our paneer is soaked well in water, I am going to cut it into pieces. I am going to cut it into small pieces since my children do not like big chunks of paneer. You can cut it into the size of your preference. Now I have heated a kadai and once it's hot, I'm going to add 2 tablespoons of oil and allow the oil to turn hot. Once the oil is hot, add the frozen green peas and stir fry them till they turn round in shape on medium flame. I stir fried it for a minute. Once the green peas is done, I'm adding the ginger garlic paste. Now stir fry till the raw smell of the ginger garlic paste fades away. Now the ginger garlic paste is cooked. I'm adding the spice mix and giving that a stir for few seconds. Do remember not to burn the spices. Now add the curry leaves, green chilies and the cut paneer pieces. Stir fry the paneer for about 2 minutes on medium flame. Now you can see the paneer is fried well and also has turned soft. To, in order not to burn the spices, I added a little water and giving that a mix. Now add the soya sauce, salt as per taste and give that a good mix. Once it's mixed well, add water so here I'm going to add a handful of water and allowing that to cook covered for about two to three minutes on low flame after two to three minutes a paneer and the green peas has cooked well the moisture has absorbed and you can see the oil has released at the corners a quick paneer stir fry without onion and tomatoes is ready I'm going to garnish this with few drops of lemon and serve this hot along with rotis, fulkas or parathas. I hope you like this recipe of mine. If yes, give this a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much. See you soon with another video.